All right, folks, I got to reinstall Blender, so if anybody has never installed it, I'm going to go over installing Blender, and I'm going to in go over installing the JBeam Editor and the Beam NG JBeam Exporter plugin for Blender. So um, just basically take these links and download this JBeam Editor and the JBeam Exporter plugin from Notepad, I mean, I'm sorry, from OneDrive, and also get Notepad++ if you don't already have it. And this is where you can get Blender. I'll put this these links in the description. This is a blank JBeam and the mod folders uh, organized. So like if you want to make a mod, you have the folders and everything you need to start. You just have to fill out the... Uh, I mean, it's not completely blank. You basically have everything you need to make a mod, except for a few things that, you know, I go over in the videos. Uh, so, let's install Blender. If you haven't ever installed it, you downloaded it. Now, this is version is 3.1.0. Alright. I just let it... I'm not letting it go on my C drive, though. I'm put it on my D, E, E drive. Now, while that's installing... I go to this link and download this. What you'll see when you get in here is there's not a preview picture, but it'll download it anyway. But it's IO Mesh. This is the plugin for Blender. This is the Node Beam Editor Master. That's the other link. So get those two from the links I share and uh, come on, install. Ah, uh, somehow I deleted Blender last night. I so, said, well, if I gotta reinstall it, maybe I'll just make a video. All right, finish. All right, so once you download these plugin and this uh, exporter program, Let's do the plug-in first. So we'll load Blender. Let me put this down here. Load it up. All right. Go to Edit Preferences. Add-ons install go to your downloads folder and look for that file that says io uh, let's see and you leave it in a zip file you don't unzip this one by the way just leave it in the zip io mesh jbeam install add-on now scroll down till you see it Uh, importer, exporter, import, export, export, JBeam, JBeam format, JBeam. So check that little box. Uh, if that's auto save isn't already on, then just say save preferences. Now that plugin is installed. Um, where you'll see stuff for it, I go over in my videos. Uh, but that's how you get that working with uh Blender. Now, let's get to the other program, the JBeam Editor. Once you download that, you'll extract that program wherever you want to extract it. It doesn't actually install anything. It'll just say Node Beam Editor Master. Open it up. Open that folder. Go into Bin and you'll see BNE Editor.exe. This is the program you load. I just I got it down here on my uh, down here, whatever this bar is called. And this is how you load it. Just like that. Uh, just to show you real quick how this works. Uh, if you haven't already seen it in the other video, we'll just throw the dummy J-beam in there. Dummy, dummy, dummy. This is a dummy I did some work on. 
It ain't any my dummy. I just tried to add hair to it. Where is the damn J-beam for that? I'm blind. I don't see it. There it is. So you just drag it and drop it into there like that. And then you'll see that's how. And you navigate in here with 8, 2, 4, 6, 7, 1, and mouse wheel. And just know if you get too close to a dummy, or I mean a J-beam, it'll clip. See how you see red? That means you're inside of it. Uh, to get really close, you just use your mouse wheel. It is kind of a hassle to navigate around in this thing. Just uh, You'll see from time to time in my other videos, we'll have to get like reference nodes. You click on this little box here, and it'll tell you what all the nodes are. And you can hide the triangles if you need to hide the triangles. See certain nodes that might be inside. But that's it, basically. You just need these to get started uh, in any mod making. Most importantly, the blank J-beam and uh, its folders, which uh, I'll extract onto the desktop so you can see what this looks like when it's extracted. Ah, uh, yeah, just overwrite all that. Damn, I gotta clean this messy desktop. Not even see where it damn put it. Oh, me. There it is. So, when you do work, you're making your own mod, you just take this folder, copy it, and go into the user folder, uh, which this is the default location for the user folder here. Uh, inside of there, you'll see mods, and if you don't have an unpacked folder, make a folder called unpacked, and that's where you'll paste the folder blank J beam. Damn, I just saw it. Now where'd it go? Yeah, this is uh got to get cleaned up. There it is. Drag it and drop it into there, copy it into there. I'd recommend you don't have it on your desktop also, though. Because what will happen, you'll end up doing work, and you'll forget, and you're writing to the wrong one. You won't be working in the, uh, in the mods folder. You'll be sending stuff to the desktop folder for the same thing. And uh, Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, I got, I got you a loo file also in here for, for videos where we do thrusters. You already have a loo for that. Uh, all you have to do is just set up the stuff. And here's like the teleport loo. Which I'll get into that in another video. Um, this is so you have all the stuff you need. And like I said, get the other fo um, programs. I'll put this in the description so all this stuff is here for you.